Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming today with another Master of Orion gameplay video. Uh, today I thought uh, the last two videos were about the Bullerathi, and uh, now I thought I show you how to start with the humans. I don't know how many of you guys will start with those, but just to get the starting, I'm going to show that. So the starting tech of the humans is. Uh, uh, soul and the starting tech is uh, government I think if I read that correctly so I'm going to start the game I didn't change anything else I could get some more opponents but you know, till the next update uh, like uh, it's still in early access like I said and I think end of March will be the first major update of three and uh, that will bring might bring another race so like i said um <laughs> starting point is actually soul too okay uh yeah that looks kind of interesting uh let's go no not the empire i uh, go into tech tree um you see our first reach surge is you tech tree she's nice looking government um with government we get can't really tell doesn't really say ah yeah here it says government support facility and research laboratory which is cool uh, which will give us the civic transporter if we go deep space exploration and everything but I think afterwards I'm going to go with engineering because there we will get the destroyer but first I, I'm gonna let this to be researched um, let me just check down here down the road I think that's the la the Doom Star, like a big. Yeah. I'm definitely trying to get to the towards this thing here. Uh, yep, yeah. towards this thing here to get a very nice, uh, very nice big starship. So we are going to start off like always. We are selecting this scout. You're going to go auto explore as well as you scout. You are going actually. You're going down in this, this in here. Okay, thanks. Uh, fleet needs commands. Uh, you are actually going to guard Soul. Okay. What's that? Ah, that's my second scout. Okay. Uh, Seoul is producing one colony ship and afterwards we are going with the research laboratory. Uh, we have one frigate. Yeah, research next. And afterwards we are actually to going to go with a frigate. Just to be sure. And there is a bug. Or I'm not quite sure what that happened there. So present next turn. Uh, let all the ships move out. What about you? Uh, you're a scout. You should go move. I think move. Okay, now it's gone. So he is not quite there yet. I uh, don't need this message here. Uh, here we are producing. Uh, I can't. Okay. Uh, I need to finish my research first. Physics. Before I can actually build that laboratory. So, I'm going to get my colony ship here. Uh, you're going to over here as well, my friend. That's good. Next turn. Move. Um, okay, my other scout is coming in here as well. That's a bit bad, but doesn't really matter. Uh -huh. Next turn. Move. Here we have... A giant, uh, a, gas, a gas giant, gravity is high, none, okay, next turn, move, a fleet needs orders, okay, you flew over here, that is a desert planet, and this is, I can't see, so you are going to go over here, move, okay, I want you to colonize this planet. That's a big colony ship. It looks a bit different than from the Bruti. Uh, this planet has a maximum population of eight because it's a desert planet. That does that doesn't really matter. That's going to help me out quite well. 
just so I can get a second planet started here. So come on. Okay. <laughs> those <laughs> those things look nice. Um, I actually... Can I build the research laboratory? I can. So I'm going to start with that. Anyways, um, the frame rate is quite good, guys. I have a frame rate of 174 at the moment, which is ridiculous. Okay, uh, you can't move right now. Um, there we have a second frigate, but we are not going to go with a second frigate. We are actually getting to get another colony ship. And afterwards, we are going to build a research facility over here. I said afterwards. Hello. Okay, I, I, it seems like I don't have a queue here. Why not? Ah, now I have a queue. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll delete you and you are going to be built after the colony ship. I need to... Okay. Cool, cool. So, I'm half going to skip next turn okay phys uh, physics research is complete actually which is nice uh, you fly over here so we know the next planet is a arid by uh, arid i don't quite sure what it means but i'm going to get a second uh, colony over here as well so you fly over here my friend are those two scout ships those are two scout ships you're going to go on auto explore until my uh, next um yep yeah. Automated factory and neutron blaster are done. That's cool. Uh, yes, I'm going to upgrade all of them. Done. Uh, I'm going to upgrade those two frigates as well. And what was I going to do? Ah, uh, yeah, I have to choose my next research. Uh, I either can go here, which will give uh, gives us the class one shield and the EC ECM jammer, or I go with this, which gives us anti-missile rockets and the destroyer. And, and I want to go with that first, just uh, to get the destroyer out uh, very quickly. So I'm going to jump ahead those four <coughs> turns, and I'm back, and I'm done researching the destroyer. Um, but you see, I'm actually a bit too slow with the colony ship and then this, so the destroyer will be next. Uh, next colony is still on one, uh, yeah, I can't build any food buildings here. But what I can do is actually build this one at, after the research station, because it gives me a f automatic f production of, um, it's an automated factory, so it gives me production, so I can move him up here, which will increase the two food, uh, which will then, let me just check what it does, 16 turns, I will get a second uh, inhabitant here. So, that should be good. Uh, as well as the next turn, in two turns, the pirates will be here, and there is an anomaly just popped up outside of Soul System. So, I'm actually going to, yeah, new ship design has been discovered, I know that. So I'm going to jump this two turns ahead and we see how the two frigates do against, what is it, uh, three pirate raiders. Okay, I don't have to do to wait two turns, I'm actually doing this right now. My chances are excellent, so I'm going into tactical view. I'm sorry if the sound is too, yeah, sound is still not really fixed. I put everything very far down, but it just seems to not affect the battle. So I have my two frigates here attacking those three guys over there. I have already one upgrade, as you see here, uh, nuclear missiles and neutron blasters. I actually could stack them up in uh, different formations here. So he goes a bit further front or just line formation. So we took out the first trader quite easily. Boom. Boom. That was it. That was, I think, uh, I think it was a 100% hit chance there, 100% uh, hit rate. Nope, just 37% accuracy. That's okay. Uh, yeah, they did a little bit of damage to me, but not really much. So each of them had 10 health because I, d a third, I dealt 30 damage and I destroyed three ships. That's quite good. So we close that and the ships are back, they're going to go back here. Uh, now I'm doing another cut as soon as I reach this anom anomaly I'm bringing you guys back. And I'm back and I reached the anomaly and it's, I'm exploring it. 
and I get deep space exploration. I acquired that, I think. Yeah, look at that. That's uh, It gives me several transport and fungal forms. I do not have to research that anymore. That's automatically researched thanks to the anomaly. So if the anom if you find anomalies, go for them. They, they are helpful. They give you helpful stuff from time to time. So you're going to go and auto-explore, yep, fleet needed orders, you are going to go in orbit and guard Earth, or Soul 2. Um, now I'm going to go again and jump a couple of turns ahead, guys, and uh, show you what I can come up with. And I'm back and I have to fight a marauder, a pirate marauder, and I have a new class of ship, this is the Cruiser 3. So I think the Marauder is done very, very quickly. And my rockets are going in, my shield hold up, and the Marauder is done. He has quite a lot of health, I have to say. Let me just check how much. Uh, 90. 90.51. Uh, he did 12 damage to me, but I had a shield, so I don't really care. Close. Um, going to move those guys over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, space bi pirate base found. This is pirates. Space pirates. Yep. Yeah. Actually, going to attack those guys. After, but first, I actually have to destroy those guys here, and I'm going to do it in a simulated battle because I know I will destroy them. Yay! Uh, my ships are all good, and there is the squid. Mm, I'm actually going to attack it, just so, uh, to, to show you on videos, guys. So I'll bring you back as soon as my fleet is over there. And I'm back and I'm attacking the space monster, the squid. Uh, with one cruiser, one destroyer, and two frigates. So we get, the chances are good, so we go into tactical view. There are my four ships coming in. And there is the squid. So the little ones go on full attack, and those two are staying in line like this. Also, so the rockets from the. What is it? Frigates are out, and look at the damage he takes. Ah, oh, he shoots at my cruiser, and we destroyed it. The cruiser took quite a lot of damage. I don't know how much his shield took, uh, but all of my stuff survived. I think just it was just some shield damage. Uh, I had a 66%, uh, he had a 66%, he was using missiles. I was 80, 83 and 55, that's pretty good. Battle highlights, yeah, that's good, so I destroyed that thing. Uh, right, we should try to build a relationship with it. Yeah, that's. Um, I thought that was because of the squid. Ibris, it's Terran, it's none. Uh, interesting. I thought we would get something more out of that. My frigate is actually pretty hurt, so I'm going to send my fleet back here to get repaired. And afterwards, I'm going to attack the pirate planet, and I'm going to show you that as well. And I'm back, and the pirate marauder actually attacked Seoul. I was here to get my frigates repaired, got another update, and I have a starbase over Seoul too. So, uh, let us check out what one marauder can do against all of this. Eight time. Oh, there is like a cinematic view. Uh, we go back into cinematic view, and there goes the pirate. Boom. <laughs> that was easy, like always. Anyway, I'm going to send the fleet now to our... Tor Ooh, the pirate marauder actually did do some damage. Oh, no, he didn't. Well, not a lot. Anyway, I'm going to send my fleet now to the to to the pirate planet, which was here, and bring you guys back as soon as I'm over the planet and start attacking it. And I'm back, and I'm sending my fleet in on the planet, and I'm going to go on attack. 
Um, I can't invade because I forgot to get actually a space marine or uh, marine transporter. So all I can do is bombard. So I do one bombardment. I hit and I did actually kill the population. I can't do anything else. So close. Okay, cool. I rescued some slave, and which will uh, which increase my population on Soul Two by one. So uh, to attack the pirate helps you as well. It looks like it will upgrade your um yeah your population. It can upgrade your population. So I'm sending my fleet back here. Yeah, that's okay. Next colony. We could get some more researches in here, but I'm building up this space factory and afterwards another cruiser and after that I'm going to build the toxic processor which should decrease the pollution a little bit. But I'm going to jump to a couple of turns ahead and bring you guys back a little bit later onto the game. And I'm back and I have a troop transporter with me and another uh, three cruisers at the moment and I also got wrapped myself a battleship and now I have found another pirate planet and I'm going to attack it here just to see if we can invade we cannot invade a pirate planet so we can just bomb it with a nuclear bomb uh, we destroyed it and we found 48 credits in it that's quite nice not what I was actually looking for, but now I'm actually going to see if this fleet is anywhere near enough to uh, to get to Orion and actually go and get Orion done. So I bring you guys back as soon as I'm in the battle for Orion. So and I'm back and I'm going to attack. Probably going to lose, but still, I want to see how it is. How much damage we can do to unfavorable. So, simulated we will lose for sure. So, tactical. I might need to get <laughs> the different formation. Yeah, we know how Orion looks like. Uh, if we go into circle formation, uh, actually, we go into this formation, and uh, now we are going to fire up. With all what we have, I think that's the photo of the feet as there comes the salary. So we'll take out this frigate, just the frigate, and the battleship managed to eat all the rockets to the field, which is nice. I don't know how much health that ship has. Oh, okay, there I see. I got defeated, like like I uh, thought I would, uh, but you saw I managed to take down his whole shield. So I don't think there is much more needed to actually defeat this guy. My the troop transport, yeah, okay, he got destroyed as well. But that's good, or oh, not not really good, but that doesn't really matter because. I'm going just to colonize this planet just to see how it is with the radiation. Probably not that good. Uh, meaning uh, probably won't help me a lot here. Um, doesn't say anything actually. Um, but I think I should start off with this. Then the automated factory. Um, I actually cannot terraform this planet. Interesting. Okay, then I go with this, I go with that, I go with this. So that should at least increase the food here quite soon. It was just because I by accident actually crafted up uh, another um, colonizer. Uh, here you see I have a f high gravity which is 50% uh, minus, uh, minus effect of 50% on my my status, uh, everything, yeah, the production, the research, and the food is 50% minus on here. But anyway, that, that it looks pretty good here. Um, for, so for next time, we know I need to get at least 
I'm going to get two battleships here. I'm going to get at least a cruiser again. Uh, troop transporter, not yet. Frigate, not yet. I will get myself five destroyers though. Ah, I'm gonna get the five to frigates as well. Just uh, to build up my troops. And here, actually, I'm also going to go in and get a one battleship built. Um, I'm going to go with five destroyers here as well and another cruiser. Uh, that will be my fleet. As soon as I have all this up, I'm going to go again for uh, for Orion. Because uh, there were three frigates, uh, two destroyers. And yeah, you saw my fleet. I'm not quite sure how much of what which I had. I think uh, for sure three cruisers and a battleship. And I managed to take his shield down completely. Uh, at the moment, I'm also researching nanotechnology, will give, which will give me better armor on my ships. And I think afterwards... Where was it? Um, I think it's over here, yeah. Afterwards, as soon as I'm done researching this, which gives me the shield, and I probably can go for the Titan. Um, I think before I go for the Titan, I will research... Where was it again? This here, uh, Optronics, which will uh, get me a shield capacitate, capacitator, uh, which will increase my shield strength by quite a lot. Uh, so I should manage, uh, if I've researched that, and probably get one more one Titan with me as well. I will attack again Orion um, and hopefully we'll manage to destroy it. Uh, not destroy it, destroy it uh, the Guardian of, the, of Orion, but hopefully we'll be able to... I don't know if I have to colonize Orion or if I get the bonus, but... Anyway guys, that's for the next video. So... Thank you very much for watching this video. If you did like the video, please hit the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel or follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the video descriptions. So, one more time guys, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.